Hey everybody, Nicole here from Wine Expressions. I'm here cooking another paleo meal tonight. We, I am making pan-seared sea scallops in a butter sauce that's made with um, leeks, fennel, shallots, garlic, butter obviously, some chicken broth, lemons, and uh, white wine, a dry white wine. Uh, one thing to note uh, when doing this before we get started, just a little uh, insider tip. Um, Leeks are very dirty, so when you slice them up, you're going to want to toss them in a colander and rinse them in some cold water. Get them all loosened up like this so they're kind of little circles so you can get all that dirt out of there. So basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start with um, about half a tablespoon of butter and I'm going to put a little olive oil in the pan as well. I've got uh, I've sliced up about one whole leek. And this is about a quarter cup of fresh fennel. I've got about two tablespoons of shallots and three crushed garlic cloves. So I'm just gonna let this butter melt all over the pan here. I'm gonna toss in my leeks. saute up a bit. After that sautés, then I'm going to add my shallots, then my garlic, and uh, let that kind of brown a little bit, and then I'm going to reduce it with some white wine. Squeeze in some lemon after you let the white wine kind of toss around a little bit, and then pour in a little bit of chicken broth. Uh, after that, then I'm going to teach you how to pan sear the scallops. Okay, so I've got all my uh, Ingredients that have softened up from sauteing. Now I'm going to add a little bit of dry white wine. Just kind of bring it together a little bit, give it some nice flavor, and also deglaze that pan a bit. All right, and then after that, I'm going to add some fresh lemon juice. Lemon and seafood marriage in heaven. So we got a little lemon flavor. I'm going to hit it with some organic chicken broth. Let that simmer for a while. I'm going to put some, uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to use fresh oregano or fresh thyme from our garden yet. Both will go really well. It's up to you whichever kind of flavor you like. The thyme is going to be a little more subtle. The oregano is going to have a little bit more of a stronger flavor to it. So I think I'm going to go with the, um, going to go with the, um, the thyme. And uh, I'm going to hit this with a little salt and pepper, let it simmer, and then I'm going to come back and hit it with some butter, and then we're going to prep our scallops and then do our veggies. So the next component that I am prepping is going to be uh, the veggies. And uh, I've talked about in other videos why you need a KitchenAid. It's just going to transform your cooking. And I've also talked about the spiralizer, which is absolutely amazing. And um, so we're using zucchini, uh, yellow squash, and uh, sweet potato, all organic, to um, make basically kind of like noodles. And I'm um, gonna, just going to go show you real quick how this works. It's all rigged up. And it just does the work for you. Super easy. So here's our beautifully spiralized vegetables that uh, basically I am just going to saute and they'll be uh, in the center of our plate. Next here are our beautiful sea scallops. Um, as you can see, I, you may never have known this, but on scallops there's a little muscle that is attached that you want to pull off. And why do you do that is because this is going to be a lot tougher than that. Um, not all of them are going to have it, but just go through your scallops and pull them apart. Then just hit it with a little salt and pepper. I'm warming up my pan here to pan sear them and then to saute that. So here, sauteing the sea scallops that I coated with a little bit of salt and pepper. I let my the oil in the pan heat up a little bit. This is an all-clad pan, which is great for searing. So the way you get, when you go out to a nice restaurant and say you order sea scallops or meat or, or any sort of fish, you see that nice little brown crust on it. The trick to getting that is you've got to be patient. You have to let the scallop work in the pan. So don't try to release the, 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 the muscle 
or the, sorry, the protein and the meat will release when it's ready to be turned. So don't try to force it. Let it sit, and when you feel like it's ready to pick up, then you turn it. And you can see here that it's got that nice little brown coating to it. I like using a large wok to saute these veggies because you can do it on high and it's not going to take as long and it just gives it a lot of room to toss it around. So just about done here, ready to eat. So here we are, I plated it up with our uh, final meal. At the end I did put a little bit of freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano on top of our veggie noodles and the wine that we're pairing this evening is an Aligoté from the Burgundy region in France, from Domaine Buard Bonifi, husband and wife operation. Uh, Aligoté is a lesser known grape that comes from the Burgundy region. And uh, white Burgundy is known for Chardonnay, but this is a, a grape that they do allow to uh, grow there. And basically it's gonna be a little lighter than a Chardonnay, so perfect to go with seafood. Nice high acidity to cut through that fatty butter sauce. So thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment below if you tried this meal or you have any questions. Thanks so much.